Hi, this is Jeremiah Taylor, and today is October 12th, and our Tucson MLS statistics for September of 2011 have been released, and I wanted to take just a couple minutes today to review those with you. And so what we'll do when we get started is we look at this front page here, and we see that sales volume decreased, sales price is a slight decrease. Overall, we're seeing some decreases, which is pretty common this time of year. You know, come September into October, November, our days are going to start to get shorter. And we're essentially going to lose two to three hours of time of day that we can actually show property because the sun's going to go down around 530 now. And that really does affect our sales here in Tucson. So when we look at the unit sales here for September versus August, what we're going to see is that we sold about the same number of homes. We're off by 40. That's really nothing to get excited about. What is something to get excited about is we are continuing this trend of being 20 to 25% up over where we were last year. So that means our buyer side sales volume is way up over what it was. And we're really moving through some of this inventory that we're seeing. Also, again, we're pending a ton more sales than we're actually closing. Still, that tells us financing is difficult. Short sales play a big part in this. We've got some work to do there. Average sales price is still pretty low in the mid 150s. And we're also seeing a steady decrease in inventory. We're down almost 2,000 homes over the same time last year. So as we move through this and we liquidate that inventory, that's what it is going to get us back to that price stabilization and maybe even into a price increase. Today I want to dig just a little bit deeper and talk about something that's interesting here. What we see is our inventory under 100,000 is actually fairly well depleted and this is where most of our movement is every month. What we're seeing though is that the biggest part of our market is moving between 100 and 123 100 and 120,000 where we've got about 600 homes listed on the market right now. You know, this is continuing to be our challenge is that most of this REO and short sale inventory is coming in at 120 and under, and it's great for the first time buyers and the investors. And at the same time, it's a challenge for these move up buyers that are in the, you know, two to 400 range to be able to step up into these 750 to million dollar properties that are just phenomenal deals. One thing I did want to point out is if you see this number right here, this is six homes over a million dollars sold in the month of September. That's exciting to me because we haven't seen a number like that in almost 24 months. And if we go back here to last month, you can see we only had two homes that sold at that price point. Um, the inventories remained relatively the same. In fact, it's trended up slightly. Uh, we don't get too excited about a seven house difference. At the same time, overall, the inventory is depleting. The market is moving. We're continuing our trend of selling a lot of homes every month. We just got to keep working through it. So until next month, this is Jeremiah Taylor with the Jeremiah Taylor team at Keller Williams. And when you think Tucson real estate, think Jeremiah Taylor. 520-477-SOLD.